Hello, welcome back. In the last video, we understand about different types of performance test. So in this video, we like to know what kind of risks being addressed by this performance testing. All right. So, so essentially, what I'm saying is there are three kinds of issues. One is speed issues, like you know, how speed is my system. Okay. So for example, the speed related issues can be even broke broken down to something like what is the user satisfaction okay and then how the response time is trending over time when we have you know one user we have a good response time but do we have good response time when there are 2000 users okay so that is what is called response time trending okay and then also like sometimes you know whenever you uh, you know start your business you give a service level agreement so that is what is called SLA agreement okay so if the SLA agreement is that we will respond you back in 5 millisecond then you need to understand if your speed of your system is enough so that you are meeting this SLA agreement or not similarly the second this is the first kind of issues about speed the second kind of issues is about scalability Okay, the scalability means like is this system scalable enough to give you good future growth? So if my business grows in future, if the system is able to handle those future growth, what kind of resource being used? For example, whenever I am running a data center, what is my electricity bills? what is my cooling system requirement or even what is the CPU utilization of a server so that is let's call the generic thing is resource consumption so we like to know like you know, how we are consuming the resource what kind of issues regarding to resource consumption mm -hmm. you know another issue is called capacity planning that means I like to know how many servers do I need to satisfy a good speed for 2 million users and if the system is optimized enough to run in an efficient manner okay is there any concurrency issues there whenever I am running a large number of users is there any deadlock happening in my database or is there any trade contention happening on my application server or what kind what, what, no, what those kind of issues are called concurrency issues so basically this issue all these things we can term as scalability so next one is stability that means whenever I put enough load is this system stable enough or it is breaking away that means I like to know is this system is reliable enough I like to know if the system is high available high available means if if one of the database is going to fail if there is a failover mechanism in place then system will still run but at a slow rate but that is okay it is not okay to break down in the middle of the road like for example you are you are driving a car or for example you are on a flight and you are you have one engine and that engine breaks down what's going to happen disaster same thing same concepts in the software deployment as well we need to ensure that system is high available and then if the system is resilient enough to recover back from a fault okay and also sometimes there is slow leak slow leak happens but those things cannot be that cannot be termed as a scalability issues but that's also stability issues because in the long run that slow leak is going to be a big drain okay so slow leak issues so essentially what I what, I, what I'm what I'm telling here is that there are kinds of issues that we see and already in the last video we define these kinds of test that we do performance testing load testing and stress testing 
in fact we can tell this performance testing as component testing because essentially we are testing a particular component of the complete deployment so in a load testing we can really divide three parts like a load test another thing called endurance test in the endurance test we are going to run the same level of load but a, but but a, but a, the long enough time for example if the load test runs for an hour the endurance test will run for, for example 7 days at same load to check if things are okay or not and another kind of test that we do is called capacity testing and capacity testing is something similar to a load testing but the goal here is to figure out the to, to predict the resource uses and in the stress testing one is like you know your stress testing where we put extreme load another thing is spike testing spike testing means like you know, this is timeline so we give a a, a, lo a, a general load let's say for example this is a general load and all of a sudden we are going to give a spike load and then again come back to general load and again spike load come back to general load okay so this kind of system okay so this kind of thing is called spike load so essentially we have defined so many kinds of issues that can come and we define so many number of tests that can be done and here in this table that I would like to address so this is issues type and this is your test type so let's try to fill up user satisfaction is one issue right yes that component test can figure it out can address those issues can load test yes load test also can do the user satisfaction because whenever you run a load test we also come to know like how the how things are responding in a thousand user so this is also going to do capacity planning will do and stress and spike won't do because in stress and spike we are given an extreme load and that is not really the condition going to happen in the real life okay and and in that even if it happens in the real life then we don't really expect the user to give in the, the the response time they're supposed to get in other time because this is a in this case is just something something very unrealistic and probably happens on an on a an viral attack or some kind of you know so some kind of you know some kind of hacking some 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 hackers basically trying to load your system uh, you know so, so those kind of things okay and response time of tra training this will give you and this also give you this will also give you and this will also give you SLA agreement uh, basically component test cannot give you SLA agreement because whenever we're giving, giving an SLA ag agreement we want to give the complete system not a particular component so therefore it's not going to give you but this is going to give you this is going to give you this is going to give you okay so next thing is the scalability issues future growth I cannot really do using component because a lot of the scalability issues cannot be done by component testing except this optimization and efficiency where we can do a component test to figure out which part of the thing is not really working but whereas all those load testing is going to give you the give you give you give you the solution to the scalability related issues so therefore all these things is true all right now whenever do the stability related issues so this is where most of your test testing test is going to give you the answer okay whereas none of this component testing is going to give you none, any answer and also the endurance test also gives you reliability and also the load test also going to give you the reliability okay so essentially like you know what you see here is that so these are the classes of test and these are the classes of issues so basically most of the stability issues are done by stress testing most of the scalability issues are addressed by load testing and most of the speed related issues are addressed by either stress uh, either load testing or the component testing which also called as performance testing all right so so these are the these are the risk and this is how the risks are being addressed okay again thanks a lot for your time and see you in the next video